Hi, so I thought I'd give you a domino update <laughs> because I don't really film him that much because unlike the small animals he's not the kind of pet that I can really show his housing to and that kind of thing so there's not really that much I can film about him but I thought you might like to see him so I'll make a video now. Stop being a sushball! Domino! Domino! So if you're new to my channel you probably won't know who he is but some of you will but I'm gonna just tell you a bit about him so he's my cat obviously he is five years old he turned five on the 23rd of March 2013 and he is a rescue cat we got him when he was about nine weeks old from the cats protection rescue they've got lots of different branches but we got him from our local branch his mum was taken into the cat's protection. She was a tabby cat. Right, so I don't know if his mum had the kittens at the rescue or if she had them when she went in. I'm not sure now. But she had two black and white kittens and two grey and white ones and they were so cute. And basically we decided we wanted to get a kitten because we already had a cat called Daisy but she was really unsociable and quite aggressive in some ways. Um, and we thought getting another kitten might, you know, calm her down a bit, make her more sociable. But also we'd have a cat that we could actually spend more time with. Daisy was from the RSPCA, but she was kind of like half feral, I guess. Because the way she acted, we think either her mum or dad was feral. So, yeah. So we got Domino when he was nine weeks. And he's so cute. And... Yes, Daisy didn't really like him that much. She did learn to kind of get used to him. But at first she was like, who is this intruder? So, poor Daisy. So yeah, we adopted Domino and he fitted in so well. He had been handled since he was really, really young. So he was very, very tame, very, very sociable. Unlike Daisy, who wasn't handled from a young age. So yeah, we gladly accepted him into our lives and we decided to get him because basically we could choose between him or his black and white sister or a ginger cat and at first I kind of wanted a ginger one but the rest of my family wanted a black and white one so I was like okay we'll get the black and white one and I have to say it was the best choice ever because he is perfect and I do love ginger cats as well of course my auntie's got a ginger kitten and she is absolutely adorable but I am just so glad we got Domino not just because the way he looks just, he's just so perfect, he's so lovely, so affectionate, and yes, he does catch birds and things like that, but that's just what cats do, and not really much we can do about it, um, and he's just so happy, yeah, I don't know, he's just so affectionate, so yeah, so that's how he got Domino, so updates on him, I don't really know what I can say, really, apart from, yeah, actually, there's this big fat cat that lives <laughs> near us called Oliver, and he often comes into our garden just to tease Domino really. He goes up to Domino and they have like a big growling match and they actually must have got into a fight because Domino had a bite on his back end and I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? And it was really infected and it smelled. So we took him to the vets and he had to have um, an injection. I think it was like, I can't remember, an antibiotic and it lasted I think three weeks and now he's much better. He's found the dreamies. <laughs> so yeah, so that's cleared up now but he did have an infection. Obviously he is a cat who is allowed outside. We don't have a cat flap though. We um, look this and that. We just open the door when he lets us know that he wants to go out and he sits up there on here when he wants to go in and we let him in but it's like we usually see him when he wants to come in we would like to get a cat flap but we haven't got the kind of door where you can put one in um, but we would like to get one he's just had his flea stuff on so that's what's on his back, the back of his neck well, I think that's what it is unless you've been laying in paint he is due his vaccinations very soon so yeah, I think I've just given him way too many dreamies, that's enough. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's due his vaccinations very soon. He's always kept up to date with them. So yeah, he's a very happy boy.
And I can't believe he's five. You're five. You're so cute. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, a bird. Of course. Licking your lips. He is terrible when it comes to birds and other small rodents. He really wants to eat them. And so many times we have come down, looked on the grass and found the remains of a bird. He like eats everything apart from the heart and some feathers. So that's all that's left and it is gross. He did actually get a homing pigeon once, which is horrible. Basically, my dad found the foot of a pigeon on the grass and it had a ring on it. So it was obviously a racing pigeon, homing pigeon, whatever they're called. So it had a little number on it, so he registered it online as dead. And then this man from Scotland rang us up, basically saying thanks for letting me know about my pigeon. And yeah, so he knows that his pigeon died, which is really bad. Um, that poor pigeon. I mean, I really like birds and wildlife, and I think it's really sad that cats can catch them. But... It's natural instinct, really, and I'm not going to stop him from doing what he loves by trapping him inside when he wants to come out. And, I mean, I know people do have house cats, and some cats are happy being inside, but, no, it's not the life for Domino. He loves being outside, and if you watch that Secret Life of Cats, which was on TV in the UK recently, then you'll see what an exciting life outdoor cats have. And, to be honest, I just don't want to stop Domino doing what he loves. I mean, if we kept him as a house cat from the very start, maybe he'd be okay. But as he's been let out now, we're not just going to suddenly trap him inside. And it's not like we have a massive, massive house and he'd have loads of room. So, yeah. He likes being able to come outside. Do I, yeah? And he d I don't think he strays very far, but I would like to get one of those cat cameras to put around his neck just to see where he goes. He's not wearing a collar at the moment because every time he's worn one, he's lost it. We get the ones that easily come off in case he gets trapped somewhere, like on a bush. Um, and yeah, he, he just looks cute anyway. He's microchipped, so if he was to get lost, then people should be able to um, identify him. And that he belongs to us. Even though he has no collar. I mean, you don't exactly look like a stray deer domino. You're not exactly battered up. <laughs> So yes, that's Domino, and I don't really know what else there is to say about him. It's kind of like an introduction slash update for those of you who don't know who he is. He's so gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he's so lovely. He just comes and sits on my knee in the evenings, and he sleeps on my bed. And oh, he's so gorgeous. He is neutered, and. It was kind of part of the adoption from Cats Protection. We would have got him neutered anyway, but that's the advantage of getting a rescue cat. They're already neutered, or if they're too young to be neutered, you get a voucher so that they will be neutered when they're old enough. And a cool little story there is that when my mum took him to be neutered, he met up with his little sister again, his black and white sister, because the person who adopted her had booked him in at the vets, the same vets as ours, at the same time, at the same day, so... That was really cool. He got to meet his sister <laughs> again. I wasn't there, so I didn't see her, but I thought that was proper cute. So, yeah, that is Domino, and I hope you liked seeing him. And if you don't like cats, fair enough, but if you can't love him, I don't know. There's something wrong there, because he's so perfect. He's so perfect. Yeah. Oh, birds. Oh, yeah, just quickly want to say... He does not terrorise my rabbits and guinea pigs. They're kind of used to him. The rabbits go running up to see him. And to be honest, if he got a chance, not that he would, but I don't think he would harm the rabbits. Not too sure about the guinea pigs. He might try catch them, but he's never had the opportunity to, and he never will have the opportunity to. So, yeah, they're fine. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs> it's coming. Pretends he's not following us, but he actually is.